hello. So I just sewed the pocket, the welt pocket on my trench coat and I found the process sort of confusing. Though the directions are 100% right. Um, but I thought, let's show this. So here's the tools. I marked out where the pocket goes. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't, well, that's okay, I can. This is with a friction marker, pen, mar not marker. We've got the po the welt f like flap, and I have a little piece of a uh, quarter inch wash away wonder tape right here. This is the facing, the welt facing. So let me note, this tape is on the wrong side, which is the side that is not interfaced. The welt facing, I also have a little piece here. That's on the right side. <coughs> Sorry. So, what we're going to do is the pocket goes here. The straight edge lines up with the middle. The facing... Same thing, but upside down. And then, oh, what we also want to do, and since this is the wrong side, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna mark on it, is we're gonna mark an inch in from either short side because of reasons. You can see I didn't cut my, maybe you can see I didn't cut my interfacing perfectly. It doesn't matter. It's fine. And then this is going to, you'll see these one inch marks basically line up with that. What I'm going to do maybe is, I'm going to put these in a little, let's, let's like wipe that off magically with our iron. And then I'm going to mark them in a little closer. I'm going to mark exactly on this mark. And then what I'm going to do here is just like make a mark there and make a mark there. And it doesn't matter if that's in the center or whatever. It'll still just help me go, oh, yep, this is where it goes. So this is how this is going to get sewn. Boop, right there. And... Um, we'll want to sew on this line, which is not an inch measurement. It's a little more than a quarter of an inch. And so that's okay. I will, what I will do is, um, put a chalk line and sew along that. Then... Then this piece folds to the inside and at one point you're like, wait, why is this going this way? That's the wrong way. I'm freaking out. That's okay. Um, you'll sew it a little bit because ultimately the pocket gets folded in half this way. And I think that's what I found really confusing is that I didn't have that overview. Maybe you will find that less confusing than I did. So... Putting this on that center line. Need a longer ruler. Which is right here. I was looking all over for it just now. Hope I'm glad that you couldn't actually see that. I think it wanted you to do this eight millimeters. Let's see what the directions say. Yeah, so the other option that I did before was I used my ruler that's in millimeters, which magically appeared in my hand. That's right. So what I'm gonna do now is mark these on here and the good news is, again, I'm just going to draw it. The 
This roller is so unwieldy. <laughs> I should get a smaller one. Wish I had thought of that last night when I placed an order for some stuff. Oh, look it. I put marked that too high. It's okay. I'll figure it out that I don't sew on that line. There. So... We're gonna sew this one along this line. <clears throat> but one thing at a time. I don't want to just do them both at the same time, but I feel like that is folly. Now, question is, can I pull my sewing machine forward with all this camera stuff here? The answer is, you can do whatever you want, Maria. Mm -hmm. Camera is... <coughs> I need to have some water. Here's my sewing machine. They're obviously right on top of. It's right there. I can't fold you down further, so you're just going to have to believe me. Um, I used as little tape as possible because you would think that it costs a fortune and I cannot get more the way that I sort of hoard it. It's super rainy. I don't know if you can hear the rain sounds from outside. I should charge extra for them. Let's put our needle in the middle. And I feel like I'm so far away. Hello. Let's move you forward a tiny bit. Better. Perfect, perfect. Hold on to my thread tails. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm just sewing on or slightly to the right of my chalk line. No rush. Make sure that there's not, that there's just one layer of fabric underneath. Usually I use my knee lift, but I felt like it would be in the way for this. Love these snips because pretty ambidextrous. So did I sew on the line? Yeah, basically. I sewed just outside it. Now suggestion. Don't choose right now to iron your piece when you've used stuff that irons off to mark it. Yeah, I did make that mistake. Now, So, I'll line that up. And now this point should match with my other points. We could check that. Let's see. Let's 
just outside it. Yeah. So that's okay. Now I'm going to sew just from here to here. And since I have a line, uh, what I like about that is that I can put this in like backwards, so to speak. Come here. And just in other words, with my seam allowance that way. second I just worried that I um, was sewing multiple layers of fabric that I wasn't meant to be sewing. Remember when I went to a sewing machine, a uh, quilting show? They seemed so confused as to why I would want a knee lift. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess you I'll only use your sewing machines for quilts, where you're probably not rotating pieces very much. Okay, so I'm gonna check this. Oh, that was right to the mark. That felt really good. And is this one right to that mark? So now what I get to do is open this up and in the middle is this line that we drew. We're going to cut along that. And the way I actually did this was with my um, scalpel seam ripper. And so my fingers right behind here, I'm going to put the blade right on that dot and then I'm going to move my finger out of the way and just start tearing a hole I'm going to actually do it on this side too And now I can use no gesturing while holding the scalpel. Now I can use my scissors to cut it open. It's not like critical to be right on the line, except for in my mind. In my mind, it matters a lot, and I will get negative points and possibly end up, I don't know, in how maybe, I'm not sure what I'm afraid of. Then I want to cut to that stitching, but not through it. So if you need glasses, this is the time to wear them. I'm getting like one or two thread widths from my stitching. So I'm cutting to the dot, yes, but I'm actually going to cut to where that stitching is. So if I didn't hit the stitching to the dot, I'm, that's okay, I'm gonna go to where I stitched. Now there's one thing I don't like about how this finished, which is the triangles at the end. When I have done welt pockets before, you actually sew down the triangles and they don't seem to have you sew down the triangles. So 
so frustrating, but I may have, I may hand sew them because the last step to finish this pocket does involve hand stitching. Okay, now we cut the, that's the scary part. I just cut into my main fabric. Oh gosh. So again, to go over this, the flap part is right side up. Cause it's gonna go like this and then like that. And that's the part that scared me is because the next step is I'm gonna iron this this way. And then you're like, no, that's not the pretty side of my top stitching at all. Because um, I have to use a regular thread in my bobbin. Well, do I have to? I'm not sure, but I'm certainly going to. And then this is gonna fold, you fold this down and it's gonna come through. So I'll show you that. It says be careful not to cut too close to the stitches, by the way, which is what I just told you. So now we're gonna do some pressing. So we're gonna fold the welt up like this. Let's move our sewing machine. So this is what we just stitched. I'm gonna fold this up. Oh, oh, we cut close here. I can see it. It's okay though. And we're gonna press that. But we're also gonna fold this like this. Fold it through to the other side this and then we're gonna under stitch so this seam allowance goes towards the coat and we're gonna stitch it down so let me get to pressing I forgot I was filming I'm back it's fine you didn't even know I was gone I ironed it you see I ironed this up this got folded to the inside, the triangles got folded to the inside, and we're gonna do under stitching here. So, sometimes when I under stitch, I use my um, edge stitch foot, but why would we do that? We're lazy. So, under stitching meaning I'm just stitching, oh, eight sixteenth of an inch to the uh, right of the seam to catch these seam allowances underneath. So that they can't flip out. Don't flip out. I don't know if you ever noticed how right-handed sewing machines are. You probably are thinking, what? How can a sewing machine even be handed? Well, it's easiest to remove pins with this hand. Oops, I, I knew I hit that. It's my speed knob. Well, it's not a knob. Speed slider. You know what, I really wanna like stitch down these rectangles, but that is not part of the rules. I mean, instructions. Okay, you guys, it's true though. I view them as the rules. Okay, we're gonna do this. And I um, press for the record, I meant to say this and I forgot. All of my seams I press flat and then I press whichever way they're going. <laughs> because I learned it from PBS. So now we're gonna give this a press because why not? Because we stitch something, we press something. I really love my wool pressing mat for this. Cause it's so flat. Okay, now what do we do? Now we attach the pocket bags. So, um, 
this part get, got conf was so bad that I was like, oh, I did it wrong and unpicked a seam. And then it turned out, no, actually, I didn't do it wrong. So then I had to restitch the same seam that I just unpicked. So that's where we're at. Here's the pocket bags. These pockets are really small, and I am frustrated with myself for not realizing that. But here we are. So at this point, we're working on the inside of our coat. What happened here? There's something funky. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Come here. So these are labeled, hopefully. Inner pocket bag, outer pocket bag. We're going to take the inner. And that's gonna go to the right side of this piece, just like this. And this is flannel, so I probably could get away without pinning, but this is me, and I would probably stress out if I tried to do that, so. Um, I do like to try and pin. This fabric, I'm afraid, will show pinholes, so I'm trying to pin within my seam allowance. I don't know how necessary that is but these go right sides together if I'm not mistaken let's let's verify that but my fabric doesn't have my lining fabric doesn't have a right and wrong side yeah so we're sewing this and then we're gonna press the seam allowances this way towards the pocket bag, or in other words, so that when I have this flat face down, this part lies nice and flat, which I think makes sense if you think about it, as much as anything in sewing can ever make sense to anyone. I like to make big stacks of the papers that I'm done with, so it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing things. Let me know if you're the same. Where's my little clip? Where's my little clip? Is this really the most important thing right now, Maria? Apparently. Okay. You know what, though? I actually just pinned this this way, but I want to put the fabric flannel side down because it seems like it might be ever so slightly bigger and the feed dogs will deal with that for me. Because they're hungry. Those feed dogs, they deal with everything. That probably was not within the seam allowance. Can you hear that rain? Well, I'll find out before you can answer me. Is that true? I don't watch every video of mine anymore. Some of them I'm like, whatever, good enough. Now, we're supposed to be Boop. Sewing at what day is it? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday right now, everyone. Now you know. Whenever you, whenever this gets posted, you're gonna know that it's a lie unless I wait until next Wednesday. Um. So we're setting our seam allowance to the correct one, which I think was three eighths. Which is funny because my manual tells me what to set it to for three eighths, and it's wrong. It says set the needle offset to two millimeters, but when I sew it with the needle offset to two millimeters, it comes out as a slightly more than a three eighths inch. The opposite of scant. power oh my god why did I say that out loud why did I say that out loud why did I even think that oh no I should not have even thought it's 
So then um, I should do some pressing now, but what I want to do is actually do the other pocket bag because then I can do pressing of those things all at the same time. So you can, I like to like lay things out how they're going to be. It helps me think how are they going to fit together. Please tell me. Okay, good. I was holding it upside down. I was very worried. So this is going to go like this. That means this pocket bag needs to go in here like this. How do I make that happen? I think it's like that. And I'm going to think about that for a minute and then sew it, assuming I'm correct. Update that was wrong. Because this has to go, remember this is supposed to be pressed up because we're looking at the back, it's funky. So this is gonna go down here like this. And this pocket bag is gonna get sewn to this side like this. And what I will do is pin it and I will follow along this stitching line here. So, and what I wanna do is make sure that these meet up correctly at the sides. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have to pin this again because this is upside down for the way I'm gonna sew it. But we're just sort of testing location right now. Ow. Hold that how it's gonna be. Tell me how it's gonna be. When there's no one left to talk to. Between you and me. Cause I'm not there. Sorry. Sorry. We went there. You can't blame me. I'm a child of that time. I wish this had this piece had notches for where it met right here. That makes me, I don't know if irritated is the right word. Disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So I'm going to match up the edges and pin like any normal sewing thing. This is really the perfect weather to be sewing a trench coat in. A waterproof trench coat. The funny thing about this is that I bought this fabric as the like tester fabric with the plan that I can remake this in some really nice waterproof cotton. But the question is, am I going to want to sew this again? <laughs> this is a not inconsiderable amount of work. Oh, wait. This is a considerable amount of work. Is that what I said? Not inconsiderable. Yes. Same thing. Except for flare. So I'm going to move my needle to the middle because it's easier to sew on an existing line. Easier for me to sew on an existing sewing line. If I can put my needle in the middle... And we're going to slowly lower the needle and take out this pin. Oh yeah, my sewing machine loves throwing, sewing through this many layers of fabric. Mm-hmm. Just ask it about the time I sewed jeans. It'll tell you warm stories of the abuse I had suffered in my hands. In my defense, I'll do what I want. I wanted jeans.
Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Great. Now we gotta press some stuff. So I'm gonna press my seams flat, then I'm gonna press them the way the instructions tell me, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Last time I didn't sew all the way to the top. This time we are exerting our willpower. And then we'll see if we regret it. So you can know if it's a good or a bad idea. So, go under there. Mm -hmm. You know what I hate is the like, mark, the foot, how the foot pedal starts escaping from you as you sew. I've seen great solutions um, if you're on hardwood floors by putting like those shelf liners that are kind of non-skid, but I have carpet, so. Well, we lost a pin somewhere. It's fine. It told me to finish the edges of the pocket bags before sewing, but um, I did this to the other one and then just surged around it, and that worked great. So I, that's why I finished that other edge. Because flannel can be prone to fraying. Though, admittedly, look at that little pin trying to hide. I mean, it will be in the lining. The other thing is the seam allowance for this piece hardly matters. <laughs> yeah, like... Okay. Great. Hopefully you all know the drill, which is, um, I'm going to actually surge this and then press it. But I'm going to pause for that because the serger is very loud. <laughs> okay, that's done. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure everything's laying okay, but blah, blah, blah. It involves us sewing here for three centimeters. So... Or one and a quarter inches, but I have this, so I'm just gonna mark three centimeters. I'm gonna put a little dot. Precision, I don't think, matters here to anyone but me. Before we do this, though, you want to make sure everything's laying nicely. So I sewed these all the way to the top and we're seeing if we regret that. It kind of feels like we are regretting that. Because this part wants to fold. So let's see. Right? Like, this won't be nice. It won't be nice. Because this piece kind of wants to go like this up in here. Is that right? And so then these are two tied together. So this is going to fold up like this. Actually, it's maybe okay. Yeah. I'm going to take this now. And I think if you had, um, I do have, but I'm not going to go get them. There's a 
magnetic like holder things. You could use one or you could use that, but it's fine. So now what I'm going to do is sew here. For, and then how it's going to finish is we're going to fold it and then we're going to hand stitch it down. So we're almost done. We're just going to sew. Really, I'm going to undo this stitching here though. that I so well backstitched and that worked out well. I'm going to have to add more stitching in there. Um, cause this is really unhappy, but we'll sew this down and come back with this fixed and we'll look at it. Just gonna, real quick, since I demolished this line of stitching, we're gonna re-sew it and undo it so. And making sure it's all laying greatly, greatly, Maria. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what I went with. And I'm going to sew here-ish. Perfect. Nothing went wrong. Well, something went wrong. Might have to fix that. Will have to fix that, but I will not do that with y'all here. See what I mean about these little triangles there? Do you see that dot there? So that's what I'm going to sew down by hand. Or sew closed by hand, I should say. But that's our pocket. So the last step is hand sewing. And what we'll do is we'll fold this down. And we really want to cover the bottom part. And then we're just going to sew this by hand. So the, get out of my way, sewing machine. Ugh. So that when it's done, 
there's flannel fluff everywhere. When it's done, it'll lay nicely like this. Um, and in there's your pocket. Possibly this is supposed to go like that, but it's too late and it doesn't matter. And I don't actually know that I care enough. No, it has to go like that, otherwise the pocket bag lays weird. So that was right. Good, good. Good. Excellent. I knew that the whole time. Um, <laughs> I did know it because I tested it on the other one, but I forgot between then and now. So there's your pocket. And not that difficult, but if you also found the instructions like, what? Hopefully this shows you why they work and not just that they do work.